ever. And I suppose for us, um, you know, we have the luxury of you know going to school. Um, all the, the adults have jobs, so when we finish school um, or finish work, we return home um, to our families and our loved ones. But for the founders of this school, St Francis Xavier, um, and the Mer many of the Mercy Sisters and Christian Brothers, they left as what we call missionaries. So they left their homelands uh, to, to go and travel the world to spread the good news. St Francis Xavier did that way back about five or six hundred years ago before there was any type of modern technology. So he would have been on board um, a ship sailing to destinations. Some of them hadn't um, really um, been discovered all that long. All around the other side of the world uh, for him in many places. But for me what I find really inspiring is the, the Christian brothers and the, the Mercy sisters in the 1800s. Many of them left um, Ireland to go over to Australia um, to start to uh, set up schools over on the other side of the world. Now, I've been fortunate enough to go to Ireland, and um, some of you will also, but it's a very cold um, and wet uh, place. Even in summer, it's a it's pretty uh, difficult uh, place to live. And they would have come across here to Australia to set up schools, not seeing their families again. Okay, and they would have come to remote places like uh, Albury to uh, Goulburn to Grafton to Shepparton to many places that were very small and remote back in the 1800s no air conditioning uh, no luxuries no cars no anything and not even really the only technology was the ability to write a letter but they did that to set up schools and so most of the schools in our diocese um, and in Australia for that matter, have been set up by um, religious brothers and sisters that made that journey out to, um, from Ireland. And so today when we celebrate and have a great day, you know, let's think about some of that um, sacrifice and sometimes how much uh, you know, we uh, regret giving up things in our lives, but to make other people's um, all lives all that much better. And those brothers and sisters and St Francis Xavier, if it wasn't for their generosity, we wouldn't be here today in this wonderful school, in this wonderful stadium. But I do ask that you have a wonderful Xavier Day. Um, it will be full of uh, lots of exciting activities um, and that will begin as soon as I finish speaking. So uh, I'm going to hand it over to Mrs. Gilray. Have a lovely Xavier Day. Thank you.